now. I hope everybody enjoyed the breakouts. I saw in the chat window there was some nice discussion where people uh, were reflecting on their experiences uh, with the breakouts. I know in our breakout, I thought there was nice conversation that was touching upon the different nature of creative experiences, the in what ways was the tactile and physical important in the creative experience or not, the role of uh, building and making in the creative experience. How are you? But now they have a you with your breakout? Yeah, so there was talk about different representations and how young children, whether they understand the virtual representation versus a the form factor of the iPad, they're in classrooms, so how much do we design around? That's not how he would design it if we're designing something for you, for children to be yeah. learning and creating with, but how much do we use the existing form factors that are out there? Yeah. And, and he said he was much more interested in the more physical connections that you're talking about, like the screen within the brick rather than just the screen. Yeah, I mean, we we had a we were a small group, but had a really uh, interesting conversation. We were sitting in Tom's kitchen, actually, in Edinburgh. <laughs> I could nice. see the the kitchen in the background, um, and he was talking about the work he does in schools across uh, Scotland, and how often the teachers are actually struggling more than the kids. How mm -hmm. when he comes in and he just spends one hour, they end up building amazing things. And he was telling us some, giving us some examples. Um, and how the teachers often struggle and are afraid to, that something gets broken or that they, you know they, they don't know how to support the kids. And so he's working on helping the kind of the, the the educator community around these digital tools embrace them more. And he's doing some really interesting things there. And also, what was great is we had someone from the Lego company and Tom, and they were kind of. Um, giving it, uh, uh, kept asking each other, hey, have you seen Scratch for Arduino? Have, have you seen this? Have you seen this? And there was like this real knowledge sharing, I thought, on like t tips and tricks. And I like the levels of knowledge sharing. Like Helen shared us a link about representations of children and people also talking about their own experience. And I think it's especially exciting. I haven't done a hangout where then we're going to get to meet most of the people, you know, and continue the conversation in person as well. Yes, hopefully a lot of these discussions can continue next week. And we could find other ways to continue online as well if people are interested in doing that. So maybe when we hand off to, to close out, to hand off back to uh, Denmark and Tina, do you have any final comments for wrapping up from the LEGO Foundation? Yeah, I'm just uh, more excited about the next week now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to see you all in Denmark, and uh, I'm especially looking forward to the last day uh, we will spend in Bilan, where the headquarters of the LEGO Foundation and the LEGO Group is. So uh, I will just say thanks a lot for this session, and uh, then see you next week. Okay. Great. Bye-bye. Okay. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>